You're crazy. <laughs> crazy, am I? Uh, yeah. Hi there, welcome to K Reacts, and also welcome back to Spooky Season. Today we are watching Frankenstein from 1931. People are pretty vocal about this one, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now I know that Dracula was based on a stage play rather than the actual book, and I don't know if this one is going to be the same. I have read the book for this one as well, so I will probably be doing comparing whether or not it's based on a play or not. That's just how I am. But I don't know if I remember a whole lot about this one or not. I guess we'll just have to see. But let's just get into it, shall we? Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the full length will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. Also, if you want to make movie requests, don't forget to use the hashtag KRequests. And I'm just going to quit talking and let's get into it. Yeah, I remember when Universal was the biggest picture making studio around and not Disney. Howdy. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to, uh, well, we've warned you. All right, I'm out of here. I think there's going to be music in this, because there wasn't in Frankenstein, or in Dracula. Mrs. Percy Shelley. Wow, couldn't even say Mary Shelley, the monster, <laughs> question mark. Yep, the common confusion is uh, the monster is not called Frankenstein, it's the doctor. But is the monster actually Frankenstein for creating this poor confused creature? Oh, dilemma. <laughs> Was that a reaper right there? Just like a statue of a reaper in a graveyard? <laughs> Super unsettling. Just one guy burying the coffin. He didn't even break a sweat. I see why there's just one guy. Now. Come on. Grave robbers. You'd think it'd be easier to be caught like immediately after a funeral. It's rising. We've no time to lose. I'm pretty sure Igor was not in the original novel. Did, I hope they filled the hole. <laughs> Climb up and cut the rope. No. Go on, it can't hurt you. Why don't you do it? Make the poor hunchback do it. Here's what if that fell on you? Here I Good come. roadie. Is it all right? Is this the same guy Next who road. played the brain is useless. Oh, what was his name? That guy from Dracula who was like super unsettling. Uh, ain't that funny. Bunch of college kids laughing at a bouncing skeleton. Here we have one of the most perfect specimens of the human brain that has ever come to my attention at the university. And here the what? abnormal brain of the typical criminal. Observe, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear. The scarcity of convolutions on the front lobe, as compared <laughs> to that of the normal brain. Yes, that's how brains work. Both of these jars will remain here for your further inspection. Thank you, gentlemen. The class is dismissed. Yeah. Mm hmm So let me guess. He's gonna go after the normal brain, but actually take the, uh, the brutal brain. Because <laughs> that's how brains work. <laughs> How's he gonna mix them up? Ew, just take the jar. Why'd you take the lid off? Oh, ew. No, oh, what? So he didn't mix them up. Oh my goodness, dumb dumb. Well, I guess it's not entirely Frankenstein's fault that he created a monster, like an actual monster. There was a strange look in his eyes, some mystery. I don't, his words don't blame you for way. worrying about that. Carl, I worry. I can't help it. A giant picture of him. <laughs> Victor, have you seen him? Yes. His name is Victor? Then what's Frankenstein's name? You know I'd go to the ends of the earth for you. I shouldn't like that. I'm far too fond of you. I wish you were. What? Who is this guy? Good night, Victor, and thank you. Handshake. Thank you. Good night. 
I'm worried about Henry. Why has he left the university? So his name is Henry. He's so well. And he seems okay. so happy with his... You know his research is in the field of chemical galvanism and electrobiology. Well, he's electrobiology. Fact, is that an actual thing? Herr Frankenstein was interested only in human life. First to destroy it, then recreate it. How do you know this? So Frankenstein is actually a mad scientist in this one, instead of just like a troubled young man who made a big mistake. I mean, in the book, he gets a little obsessed. He's like, oh, I'm on the verge of a great breakthrough. And then he does it. And then as soon as he does, he's like, he's like backpedaling. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what have I done? And then he spends the rest of the book like trying to escape the monster. And the monster's like, come back, come back. You have to like deal with this. Like I just, I'm like a full grown adult and I, I'm like basically a baby. I don't know what I am and whatever. Deal with it. <laughs> We're ready. Hey Fritz, ready. Oh, his name is Fritz. That is Igor. Where did Igor come from? Look, the brain of a dead man waiting to live again in a body I made. Did he not notice the label that said abnormal brain? It's Dr. Bogman, Fritz. You can't see him. Go away. To. What do you want? You must leave me alone now. It's Elizabeth. Open the door. Any other time, maybe, but not now. You're crazy. Crazy, am I? Uh, yeah. Come on up. Oh my gosh, no. Bad idea. I don't know if it would be better or worse if it didn't work. Like, you just look crazy either way. Sit down. Oh my word, so aggressive. Dr. Bauman, I learned a great deal from you at the university about the violet ray, the ultraviolet ray, which you said was the highest color in the spectrum. You were wrong. I have discovered the great ray that first brought life into the world. This is how science works. Animals. That body is not dead. It has never lived. I created it. I made it with my own hands from the bodies I took from graves, from the gallows, anywhere. Yeah, you don't sound crazy at all. I can't believe they're just like staying here. <laughs> they're not more horrified looking like this man is insane. They're just kind of like, hmm, all right. Yeah, like. Sewing together dead bodies that you stole from graves? Mm -mm. Okay. When was the last time a Frankenstein movie was made? There have been lots of like Dracula and stuff, but I don't know. I haven't seen a Frankenstein movie in a long time. Iconic. Baron, you don't understand. I understand perfectly well. <laughs> There's another woman, and you're afraid to tell me. Oh, what? Put it so Nothing the Burgomaster can say can be of the slightest importance. Uh, wow. What do you mean, no trouble? There's nothing but trouble. <laughs> so negative. Thank you, Like a fine young man, the very image of his father. Heaven forbid. Uh... <laughs> uh, everything. The brain that was stolen from my laboratory was a criminal brain. Awkward. Your health will be ruined if you persist in this madness. I'm astonishingly sane, Doctor. You have created a monster. I think of Elizabeth, your father. Elizabeth believes in me. Father. How do you know that? So far, he's been kept in complete darkness. Wait till I bring him into the light. You've isolated him in a dark room? Is that what that means? Why? What's the purpose? I was wondering when we were going to see him. Except we can't because he's in the dark. Ooh, that's eerie. There he is. What was with the choice to give him a flat head? I mean, it's a very uh, iconic look, but I wonder why they decided to do that. Take care, Herr Frankenstein. Take care. He called him Frankenstein. Man, to put a body together is such a 
complicated matter. Oh, what the heck? Get away with that torch. Where did he come from and why? What is going on? Oh my goodness. Why did he just burst in with the torch? Oh, what the heck? Oh my! Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. What in the heck? Why? It's so rude for no reason. Did the monster kill him? Oh. Well, I feel like he kind of deserved that. <laughs> Even if he wasn't, didn't have like a criminal brain or whatever. You disrespected me? No, I wouldn't kill anybody, but it's like for real. Come on. What can we do? Kill it. As you would any savage animal. We must overpower him first. It all started because he was like <laughs> waving fire in his face and whipping him. Like, I go crazy too. Yeah, this is gonna get out of hand real quick. Oh gosh. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, my gosh, they're like waving actual fire in this man's face. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did he just kill him? Oh, no, apparently not. Did he kill the doctor? Wait, why did he collapse? Apparently not. Oh, he collapsed because of like the whatever they shot him with. Okay, well he's collapsed, you can kill him. Don't you have like a sharp object or something? A blunt object? They're just gonna hide him? Throw him in the ocean? I don't know if they are near the ocean, but you know. Apparently I'm a very violent person. He's so crotchety. <laughs> I would advise you to take Henry away from here at once. Was he in Dracula also, the doctor? Oh wow, what the... Well that's not very secure. Oh dear. He's waking up. No. I feel like you're gonna die. Mm, nope. What are you doing? Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, you did. And where are you going? When will our wedding be? Let's make it soon. As soon as you like. Mm. Oh, dang. Risque for the 30s. To make the best man look still better. <laughs> Who is this guy? This Victor, who is he? <laughs> is he like his best friend or what? They are looking sharp in those suits. Here's a help to a son of the house of Frankenstein. Uh, um, he already has one, technically. So is the monster gonna like crash the wedding, you think? Ooh, party! So it's not the wedding yet? Pre-wedding party? Woo. And I hope there's plenty of beer at all events. There's lots more where that came from. Hey! <laughs> Alcohol! <laughs> Where's this ugly looking dude going? <laughs> Poor guy. Sort of. I don't know. He did kill people. It's not entirely his fault. You just kiss her on the mouth. I see that a lot in movies and stuff, and it's like weird. Will you play with me? Stranger danger. No little girl I know would walk up to that and be like, let's play. Nah. I don't even think a little girl would walk to, to a normal man and be like, let's play. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Did he... Did she... I hope she can swim, what the heck? Henry. Oh, bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. Something is coming between us. I know it. I know it. Sit down and rest. 
Listen to your woman. No, darling, you stay here. Why would you lock her in there, you dum dum? She's upstairs. Don't be stupid. What are you gonna do if you find him? Yeah. He's gonna be in there with her. And the door's locked. Oh my goodness, I knew it. Hmm. <laughs> to the window. Is she dead? Mm -mm 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 -mm. She dies in the book, so. Oh my gosh, did she just faint? Good grief. Is she dead? Cool. He killed a little girl. That is pretty dark. Dang, that is just like intense. Like, where are you going? I mean, because he didn't see who killed her. She has been murdered. How do you know that? She could have fallen in. Tuh, here comes the angry mob. Get him alive if you can, but get him! Uh, so how's this gonna end? With them catching him or with him getting away? So I know there's a sequel. There are a lot of people. <laughs> oh, come back! This way! <laughs> Useless. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy that they're just like doing all this and there's like real fire right there. Did he kill him? Or is he about to? I can never tell if they knocked him out or killed him. Don't kill any dogs. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> I get really angry. Where are you going with him? What's the game plan? So he's alive. Okay. You can barely see that. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. How is this man not dead yet? Did he die? He's gotta be dead now. Bring him down to the village and let's take him home. But what about the the guy that killed him? Is he dead? And they're all just gonna leave? Oh, they're gonna set this on fire. Okay. Smart. A <laughs> scream though. Oh, oh. Yeah, burning alive would it's one of the least ideal ways to go. I would not want to stand that close to that. Mm, be really hot. So is Frankenstein alive after he fell well, off of that windmill? What do you want, eh? What's this? Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. <laughs> so like none of the main characters died. That's what happened in the book. Like everybody died except for Frankenstein and he had to like live with that guilt of like in like the consequences of his actions. Come on now. Oh, that's the end. All right. All right, well that was Dracula from 1931. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, it had like a good balance of suspense and horror and that's pretty impressive for such an old film and even the acting wasn't too over the top um just a little bit once in a while i guess but hey what can you expect from being a really old film um i mentioned a few times that it was different from the book but i wasn't too upset about it like i thought it added to the story rather than like made it too different or changed it. Uh, I thought it made it more suspenseful and more intense um, because the book is more of a cautionary tale about um, dealing with your mistakes and whatever. Uh, whereas this movie was kind of focused on like the horror aspect of it. 
Um, and, and like by changing the things up, it just kind of made it more suspenseful and more atmospheric. And I kind of enjoyed that. It was good. Um, and like, obviously it kind of took away from like the character development and kind of the general message that the book was trying to get across. But like, I don't know, that's kind of the difference between a book and a movie. So I don't know, it's fine. Um, and there were a couple of random plot points that kind of led nowhere. Like, who was that, like, best friend or whoever he was? And, like, why was his name Victor instead of uh, the main character? And, like, why was he hitting on Elizabeth? Like, because that kind of led me to believe that, like, the scientist was going to die or whatever. And he was going to end up with Elizabeth. I don't know. It was just, like, kind of random in my opinion. But whatever. Um... And I also would have liked it more if it did stick just a little bit to the book, just a little bit more, like by killing off some of the main characters, because it just would have made it a little bit more intense, I would think. Um, but I don't know. It was fine. I liked it. Um, but they, I guess it would have just been a little too intense for the 30s, maybe whatever I mean but they did kill off a little girl and then like freaking showed her body so I don't know so <laughs> um I also love how these old movies played such an important role in like how we see like how we envision these classic monsters like I mentioned this in Dracula like when we picture like the classic Dracula, like we see like the slick back hair and the high collar and whatever. Uh, and then now with this movie, um, when we think of Frankenstein, we think like the, this kind of the square head and the stitches and like the bolts in the neck and the big bulky suit and whatever. And I just, I like, I love how these old movies just have that such an impact on us even today almost a hundred years later like I just think that's great like people don't really think about that nowadays how these old movies just still have such an influence on pop culture like they just don't realize that um well needless to say I really enjoyed this um it like I think I probably liked it more than Dracula because Dracula was more like atmospheric and creepy and this one I was just kind of more engaged in the story and everything which I I kind of more I'm more into that type of thing so I like both of them I really like this one though uh so yeah this was fun so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and the full length will be on patreon if you want to check it out the link is down below, and I guess I will see you next time on Carrie Axe.